Hey guys, so today I'm just going to show you how to get a really pretty spring look and it's going to be really neutral except one part and that's going to be the um, lids. I mean, some part of the eyes, but mostly it's going to be lids. So anyways, yeah, so I'm going to start off with adding my moisturizer and I'm just using the Acne Control Moisturizer because I love this stuff. I'm just going to put it in the palm. Put together and then pat my face. And I used to never like this because I saw it. And then my skin dried. Then when I started getting acne, like my last tutorial was really bad. So I decided to try this and it's not making my skin dry at all. So I'm really enjoying it. Oh. Now I'm just going to put my hair up because as you can tell it's probably getting in the way. So I just put it back with a clip and it's not that cool. Don't worry for this video. And then I'm going to wait for that to dry. And in the meantime I'm just going to put on that, my eye primer and I'm just using the L'Oreal Studio Secrets. Another perfecting base. You really don't need that much. Need a little bit, tiny bit, and then I think pretty much try to add a little bit of those two cheek area. It's pretty much it. You don't need very much though. In this, and since I use a dry primer, I don't want really to go out and buy this for another long time. I just love them. So yeah. Now I'm going to be using some of my foundation, and then I'm going to be putting on um, the Revlon Custom Creations and I'm using number 5 in fair to light medium and I'm just going to put this again like right here and put that with like one and a half pumps and then like this and I, I don't know it's just not when it like it actually makes it more um like Concealed if you like pat it on like this for some reason, I don't know why. Because it just, because like the skin is like soaking it all over. Alright. Okay, and then I'm going to take my new ring cover stick. And just put this under my eyes and everything, and I'm looking that way. It's because that's the way my mirror is. I'm just putting this under my eyes. Nose. My lip area. Alright, and then I'm just going to take foundation brush. To blend this all in. I really like blending this with the foundation brush. I don't know, I'll just like randomly think of something that day. Like, I'll be like, oh, I want to blend this out with the foundation brush. Oh, I want to use a blush brush to blend in my foundation. Like, all this random stuff, and then it'll be genius. Even though this isn't genius, I mean it's using a foundation brush to blend in. But like, I just like randomly think of something like, you know, some stuff works out, other stuff sucks. But hey, you gotta do the sucky stuff to make the better stuff better. Right? Okay. There we go. Here's my name. And then I'm gonna take. My powder brush, powder, whatever it may be. And I'm just using my dream matte powder. I don't even know what color it is. And I lost the bag. More actually. One of my exes broke it. Like, when we were dating. But he didn't mean to. He just, like, I was actually dating. And I was putting this on and I was like, I'm gonna really step on it. Oh well. Kind of a big video. I'm gonna put it on my baby lips. Okay. 
because I just want my lips to really soak in all the moisture it can. Okay, now I'm going to take the same brush and use bronzer. Now, since it's so we are going to use a dramatic color, I don't want anything else dramatic. So I'm not going to apply any blush in my video. I just record it. I said that I love blush. I do, but I'm just going to use bronzer. And it adds warmth to your face. So first, I'm going to start it back here. I don't even really contour anymore. I just do this. And I love it. I feel like it's even better than contouring. I love it. And it really makes me bronzy. See, I know it's pretty normal for people, but I'm like, I do. I just find that I just do a little tip a little bit different. So even though same concept, do stuff a little bit different. Alright. Perfect. And then I'm going to take a different brush. I mean, it's like the one I use for my blush. Get some of this on here. Smile. Well, because it's going to make me like bronzy, but it's not going to be like popping out in your face. I'm using bronzer as my blush. Do you know what I mean? Um, BTW, this is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the color Sun Bronze. And I'm starting it at my apples and then really focusing it back there. Back um, at my jawline. Put it on my nose. And this just makes you look super bronzy without having that, like, oh my god, I'm orange look. Bring my brush up here. So, yeah, I really like this, and it just makes my face look so gorge. Then it's my prize. And I already primed, so no need to worry about that. So, then I'm just going to put on a base. And you can use white. Actually, I'm going to use white. And I'm just going to use my Essence Eyeliner White because I don't want to use this anymore. I used to be addicted to white my waterline, but now I don't So, as you can tell, this color is just a lot brighter. And that's going to be perfect for this um, really intense um, shadow we're going to be applying. And then I'm just going to take my finger, just my ring finger, and I'm just going to slightly blend. And I'm going to do this because I want it blended because I don't want it to, like, scream in my face. Oh, look at that white cream eyeshadow I have on me, but I want it to be there. So I'm just going to get my mirror and I don't want to have it. Okay, so I'm just going to take it and slightly blend it. So it's still white, but... It's not scream in your face white like I just said. So now I'm going to take my pop in your color. And I'm going to use this Claire's. And I know Claire's. Like, who uses Claire's? They actually have pretty good stuff these days. Actually, I think I got this from my birthday, but it's good. So it's really like this. And it's a gorgeous color. It's like, there's gorgeous colors. And I actually used to use this a lot more than I do. And I should. And it's an enchanted forest. And the color I'm going to be using for this is this one right here. And I don't want to swatch it because it's so deep, like, it's like, oh my god. And I broke that off, but I can see that color. It's so deep, and it's more, it's like this green, but I don't know how to explain it. Just look at this palette, you understand how gorgeous these colors are. So I'm going to be taking a flat shader brush. Like a super dense flat one. Super dense. This is from Elf, and I actually really like these Elf brushes. They're surprisingly amazing. So, I'm going to just take the color. Be careful. It's very bright, very pigmented, and I know all these cheap brands are so pigmented. And some of the higher end ones are like crap. I'm like, what is this? So, I'm going to pack this all over my lid, and I know you guys. Using the oh my god, this one of those nightmares again, like people that put blue eyeshadow on their lips, and then leave there, like they don't even like blend it, they do nothing, they just put blue on their eyeshadow. I mean on their lips, like 
Okay, woman, this is not slack. So as you can tell, that's a lot. I mean, it's super intense, but. So again, just that Martin brush. And that white really makes it stick. So there's less fallout. That's what I find that if you apply a base, not like a primer, but like an actual base, then um, that's a little bit tacky when you apply it. Or a little bit wet, then you won't get fallout. Unless you're using like actual glitter. Yeah? Yeah? I can't! So it's just what? What do you need? What do you need? Oh my gosh! I need to be super bad. Okay. I'm just gonna do that. I'm not gonna unlock the door for it. So then I'm just gonna take an angle brush, this, and I'm just gonna blend that color out. I'm not gonna apply anything to it, just the brush. And just blend. Now, if you're like me and you don't clean your brushes every day, there could be some stuff in it. So that's not going to really affect anything. And then just do the same thing over there. And this is just going to make the edges a little bit softer. I don't want to apply anything but this blue. I just blend it out. Then when they both look pretty similar, I mean, we're just blending out to get the harshness and stuff down, but yeah. So then I'm going to take this like army green color right next to it. Army green color. And I don't think that's really that weird of a color. I mean, I don't use it every day, but I have used it before, and it's not like a super weird color. So I'm just going to pick some of that up on the tip of my angle brush and apply it more to the outer V. I'm not applying it to the crease. What? I'm just applying it to the outer V color. And I don't know if you can tell, that's the one that has it, that's the one that doesn't, it's just a little bit more into What? My makeup. Brooke, I'll tell you later. I'll talk to you later. And then, so I'm just flying that to outer me. And then you're like done with those bold colors. So, I'm done with this palette. Then, I'm going to take my vanity palette because this is super natural. Mine wild, and I love this. And actually, a lot of people have it. I was surprised. If you're looking for really good colors, like if you can't afford the naked palette, but you want six really awesome colors, this is going to be pretty. So, I'm going to take the middle one right here and blend it with the top one of the matte shades. And just like this. Because I find that the one in the middle, if you apply it too much, it's like an olive color. Trust me. So I'm just applying this to my, a little bit above my crease. And I find that you can get 
way more precision and everything if your eyes open because then you're going to know how it's going to look when your eyes open. If your eyes shut, then you're not going to know. So I always do it when your eyes open. And I always hold the brush like this, so let's take this, put this way, and I just do when do I for motions like so. Then it's like this really pretty blue color, but yeah, it's super muted. So gorgeous. Why does it have to be so gorgeous? Gorgeous. Okay, there. Like when I look in the mirror, this one looks more intense, but it's not it's just because my light is right there. Alright, now we're done with that, and it's just time to apply a really pretty highlight. So I just take that vanilla color right there. Vanilla color. And then I take the one right next to it, super shimmery. I corner you guys on what super shimmery white color looks like. Let me show you the vanity. It's brightened up the look. So I'm gonna make it so white. No eyeliner. I'm gonna skip all that shenanigans. If you have anything, I'll go down like that. Really good. Curl your lashes. Brow gel. Can you get more? Twenty dollar. I mean, I find that you don't need to spend a fortune on brow gel. I mean, it's brow gel. Nobody's gonna be like, oh my god, look at that brow gel. So I don't need to spend a fortune on my brow gel. Then I'm just applying my great lash. Ta-da! Great lash for me. What do you need? Favorite stuff ever. I love this mascara, I swear it's my life. Actually, I really like that Smashbox one, but I mean, that was like, actually, no, I have Lancome and stuff. That was my first, like, high, high end. No, Lancome's higher, but anyways, um, that was like my first. I don't know what to say. I mean, they sell Lancome at Ulta, but I don't know what I'm trying to say. Okay, I got the Smashbox one. I was really excited. And it was amazing. But then I got this and I was like, you know, this is actually a lot better than the Smashbox one. Oh my god, I wish it was really cool. So then, for the lips, just apply, I mean, any gloss. I mean, seriously, it doesn't have to be like, why is there a gloss? Just apply something new. I mean, you don't want something bright colored. You want to be applied. What is that color? Blue to the lip. I mean to the um can you wear lid. You don't want to apply too dark, so playing a little for me. So this look looks like so pretty. Hope you guys all liked it and check it out. The lips and then just really bronzy skin. I tried to make this video really long, but it turned out 10 minutes. So, I just hope you guys all liked this video. I'm super awkward in my hand there, so I hope you guys just liked it, and I hope you guys try it out. It's very bold for school or something, but I find that it's when you apply these um, colors besides blue, like if you only just have like one specific dark color, then the rest of the look. Um, it's pretty neutral, then it's going to be very easy. I wouldn't apply any blush because it could clash. Um, even if it doesn't, I just feel like the brown skin looks really nice with it. So, yeah. see you guys later. Bye!